Well, g'day everybody. Uh, my name is Tim. I'm the synth player in a band called Zealophonic. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little tutorial uh, just showing how I organize my song patches in Ableton Live um, using Racks um, and Omnisphere. Um, this is something that uh, I'm really excited about because, um, yeah, I guess starting to use uh, tracks uh, with the band. I was using main stage and I uh, just found it um, was a little bit unstable. Um, and so I wanted to find a solution where we could use tracks and I could um, house my synth patches in the one program. And so I found um, Ableton Live to be really good with that. So I thought I'd show you um, as an example um, my sounds and set up for Lions at the Gate, um, which is our new single coming out soon. So first step is to load an instance of um, Omnisphere into a MIDI track in Ableton Live. So this is my Lions multi track here and there is my instance of Omnisphere. So we'll open it up and in the multi of Omnisphere, well, in each part, I've got three parts in there. Got a, a chorus pad, got a profit sound, and then a verse pulse. And so they're loaded into parts one, two, and three of Omnisphere. So now to send this to um, Ableton Live, what I've done is I'm sending here in the multi mixer, the chorus pad channel two, the audio out B, profit channel three out C, first pulse out four, sorry, channel four and out D. And I've, I've saved this up here as lines multi, as you can see. So that's the setup in the MIDI track for Omnisphere. What I've done then is I've um, created a, another MIDI track which houses all the racks for all of my songs. So how you do that is you, you uh, create a new MIDI track, then um, go up here to Instruments and drag in an instrument rack and then into that rack drag another instrument rack <laughs> so it's like inception it's like racks upon racks so that's what i've done here so these are all my songs and they're basically all racks and so this is my lions rack and as you can see over here this is where they are now um, what you do then is um, into that rack you load um, a bunch of external instruments. So load as many external instruments into that rack as you have sounds in the Omnisphere Multi because we send um, from each part in the Omnisphere Multi we send um, each of those parts to an external instrument. So that's what I've done here. I've got three external instruments. First one, the chorus pad I've named. And um, in that first external instrument, you go over here on the right hand side and you send MIDI to Lions Multi, which is the track here that is housing my Omnisphere rack, my Omnisphere Multi, sorry. And then um, sending MIDI to Omnisphere 2, which is. Um, corresponds with the chorus pad um, and audio from B Omnisphere. Second instrument I do the same thing. Profit sound is um, number three and C and I'm sending that MIDI to Lions Multi also. And then I've done the same with the bass pulse which is the third sound. So they are all rack mounted now in the instrument rack. The other cool thing about instrument racks in 
Ableton is that um, you can do the same kind of key mapping um, to map the range of keys that you want each of these sounds to play. Um, so if it's hidden, you just got to unclick hide. I oh, know you've just got to click key here in the instrument rack, and then you can map that um, over the range of the keyboard that you want. So same um, facility there as you do have in main stage, which is super cool. What I do then um, is I set up a scene. So up here on the right hand side, set up a scene for lines at the gate. Um, and then in that um, MIDI racks track, I double click to um, create a MIDI clip. And this is how I turn the sounds, um, like turn the patches on and off for each song, right? So in this MIDI clip, if we go down the bottom and show the clip view, in this envelope section, um, I select, got to make sure I'm on lines rack. And then in the drop down underneath that, um, I can automate the device on or off. So all I do is move this line up or down. So up is on. So when I press play on that scene for lines at the gate, lions. The, One, MIDI clip, two, three. the MIDI clip plays and it turns the device on. Likewise, if um, then for other songs, I just make sure that the automation is off for lines at the gate. And so it's a great way to save CPU um, because your device is turned off. So Omnisphere is turned off. Um, and so you're really only running one instance of Omnisphere per song, um, which is really cool. So yeah, that's how I um, organize my song patches in Ableton using racks. And that's how I turn those sounds on and off, which I think is super fun and cool. So keep enjoying playing synthesizers, keep learning heaps, and I hope you have a really good day. Catch up. Bye.